Hey there, and welcome back. Today we're diving deep into some really exciting news for schizophrenia treatment. A brand new drug called Cobenfi. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely been a while since we've seen something totally new like this. Right, over 30 years since the last new medication, so this is a pretty big deal. Huge, yeah. You said over some fascinating articles about it, and I have to say, I'm pretty hyped to unpack it all. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack, a lot of buzz around this one, and for good reason. It could be, uh, it could be major for the millions of people living with schizophrenia. Okay, so new schizophrenia medications don't come around very often, then it sounds like. Yeah, no, that's putting it mildly. A, a breakthrough like this is incredibly rare. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so what makes Coben Phi so different? Right. The articles mentioned something about it working in a totally new way. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's a whole new approach. Okay. You see, for decades, medications have focused on dopamine receptors in the brain, right? But Cobenfi, this is different, it targets something called cholinergic receptors. Cholinergic receptors. Yeah. That doesn't sound familiar. What's the deal with those? Okay. So think of it this way. Your brain, it's like this complex communication network, right? Yeah. And there are different messengers, you know, carrying signals along the pathways. Dopamine is just one of those messengers. Okay. Copen5 focuses on a different messenger system involving acetylcholine. Okay. So different messenger, different system. Mm -hmm. But does it actually work? What do we know about how effective this drug really is? Well, that's where those clinical trials you sent over come in. And uh, the results are, they're pretty compelling. We're talking about two major trials, Emergent 2 and Emergent 3. Okay. They showed Cobenfi significantly reduced schizophrenia symptoms compared to a placebo. Okay, that's promising, but significantly reduced feels a little vague. What kind of improvements are we actually talking about? Right. Give me the detail. Sure. So in one of the trials, patients taking Cobenfi saw a 9.6% point greater reduction in their symptom severity scores. Wow. Yeah. 9.6 points. That's got to be noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big difference. So it works, but are there any downsides, like side effects maybe? Right. I know medications like these can sometimes have rough side effects. Yeah, absolutely. That's always a concern. And while Cobenfi does have some potential side effects like nausea and headaches, it seems to be um, better tolerated than typical antipsychotics. That's good to hear. Yeah. Fewer side effects would be a game changer for a lot of people, for sure. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's go back to how Cobenfi actually works. You mentioned it targets those uh, those cholinergic receptors instead of dopamine receptors. Right. Can you break that down for me a little? What's the connection between acetylcholine and schizophrenia symptoms? Yeah, that's a great question. And it gets to the heart of why this drug is so unique. So you see, for a long time, the prevailing theory about schizophrenia the dopamine hypothesis, suggested that an overactive dopamine system was contributing to the symptoms. Okay. So older medications were designed to block those dopamine receptors. And that works to some yeah. extent, right. But it also comes with those side effects that we were talking about. Exactly, exactly. Blocking dopamine can lead to issues with movement because it plays a big role in motor control. Right. Think tremors or stiffness. Yeah. There can also be metabolic side effects like weight gain and increased risk of diabetes. Yeah. It's a balancing act for sure. So by targeting a completely different system, this cholinergic pathway, Coben Phi might be able to avoid some of those dopamine-related side effects. That's the idea. Okay. And those lower discontinuation rates in the trials, meaning fewer people stop taking the medication because of side effects, suggests it could be a real possibility. But of course, more research is always needed, especially when it comes to long-term effects. Right, right. You gotta be cautious with new medications. Absolutely. But going back to acetylcholine, how does acting on those receptors actually help with schizophrenia symptoms? What's the connection there? Well, acetylcholine is involved in a wide range of brain functions, many of which are often disrupted in schizophrenia. Things like attention, learning, and memory. So it's not just about reducing hallucinations or delusions, which are often what people associate with schizophrenia. Right, right. It's about potentially improving those cognitive functions that can be so debilitating. Imagine struggling to focus, learn new things, or remember important information. Yeah. That can make it incredibly difficult to work to study, or even just maintain relationships. It's like another layer of challenges on top of everything else. Absolutely. So if Cobenfi can help in that area, the cognitive symptoms, it could have a huge impact on someone's quality of life. Absolutely, yeah. And that's what makes this drug so exciting. It's not just about managing symptoms. It's about potentially improving people's ability to function and thrive. But 
As with any new treatment, it's important to be aware of potential downsides and limitations. Okay, that's a good point. We've talked about side effects on cost, but are there other concerns? What about long-term effectiveness, for example? Right, that's a key question, and unfortunately, we don't have all the answers yet. Both of those major trials, Emergent 2 and Emergent 3, were relatively short-term, only five weeks long. Oh, wow. Okay, so they show improvement at the five-week mark, but what happens after that? Do those improvements last? That's what we need to find out. Okay. Will the effects be sustained over months, years? And are there any unforeseen long-term effects that didn't show up in those initial trials? Right. Those are things researchers will be closely monitoring as more people start taking cobin -Fi. And with a condition as complex as schizophrenia, I imagine there's no guarantee that one drug will work for everyone, right? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Schizophrenia is not a one-size-fits-all diagnosis. The way it presents, the severity of symptoms, and how people respond to treatment can vary drastically. Which is why having another tool in the toolbox, so to speak, is so important, especially one that works so differently from traditional antipsychotics. Exactly. For someone who hasn't had success with other medications or who experienced intolerable side effects, Cobinfi offers a new option, a new pathway to explore, right. and that can make all the difference. It sounds like this new drug has the potential to be life-changing for some people. But as we discussed earlier, there's the issue of cost. Right. At $22,500 a year, it's a really expensive medication. How does that price tag compare to other medications for schizophrenia? It's definitely on the higher end. Many older antipsychotics are available as generics, which are significantly cheaper. However, some newer brand name antipsychotics fall into a similar price range as Cobinfi. Okay, so it's not completely out of the ordinary in terms of pricing especially when we're talking about newer drugs. That's right. But it's still a significant cost, and it will undoubtedly be a barrier for some, especially those without adequate insurance coverage. This raises concerns about potential disparities in access to this potentially life-changing treatment. This is like this incredible scientific achievement clashes with the realities of our healthcare system. Yeah, unfortunately, that's often the case. We, we make these groundbreaking discoveries, but ensuring equitable access, it's, it's an ongoing challenge for sure. Yeah. Definitely something to think about. So where do we go from here? Cobinfi is approved. It's expected to be available soon. What are the next steps in figuring out its place in the world of schizophrenia treatment? Well, on a practical level, I think doctors will begin incorporating it into their practices, uh, likely starting with patients who haven't had success with other medications. We're going to learn a lot from these real-world applications. Yeah, real-world data is key right? Yeah. Because clinical trials can only tell us so much. Exactly. Exactly. We need to see how Cobinfi works in diverse populations with different subtypes of schizophrenia and alongside other treatments. It's never as simple as just one drug in isolation. Right. And hopefully, as more data comes in, we'll get a clearer picture of its long-term effects, both positive and negative. Absolutely. And that data will be crucial in informing decisions about insurance coverage and price negotiations. Um, there's there's often a lag between a drug's release and when it becomes more widely accessible. Right. It's a waiting game. But it sounds like there's a lot of hope riding on this drug, mm -hmm. especially with the company exploring ways to help uninsured patients access it. Yes, there is. And beyond its immediate impact on treatment, Cobinfi's novel mechanism of action, it opens up exciting new avenues for research. So this could be the start of something much bigger. Exactly. It could inspire a whole new generation of drugs targeting the cholinergic system, leading to a paradigm shift in how we understand and treat schizophrenia. This deep dive has been quite a journey. We've explored groundbreaking science, the complexities of the brain, and the very real challenges of healthcare access. It seems like Cobinfi's story is just beginning. It's a story full of potential, and we're just starting to write the first few chapters. That's a great way to put it. And for you listening, if you found this as fascinating as we did, don't stop here. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking questions. Because sometimes the most groundbreaking discoveries, they start with a single question. Who knows? Maybe this deep dive will spark an idea or inspire a question that leads to the next big breakthrough. And that's what the deep dive is all about. Until next time.